The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Jaffin here, 1st of April. We're not going to do any April Fool stuff because what's the point? Uh, we're looking at the Dow uh, on this first day of April, uh, having closed the month of March, not nearly as nice as I thought it would, uh, not bad, but nothing like it was looking like on, th on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, 34,734 in the Dow, up 56 points, uh, hugging the line period exponential moving average. The MACD is strong, stochastics at 88%, really good. On balance volume did pull back, it's still looking good. Rental strength did pull back. But the nine period moving average is still sharply above the 14, and that's a big positive. Um, as long as that nine is above the 14, it shows internal strength. It's something you wouldn't see if you're looking at other indices or even just looking at the chart as a blank chart. It's really a, just a wonderful uh, a clue as to giving you some in, a sense of support or weakness. I'll be discussing that in my webinar coming up for subscribers to my opening call uh, Wednesday a week. It's on the 13th of April. A lot to discuss, a lot of the patterns. Looking at the weekly chart, did do more than a 50% a rally. It's now just above a 50% rally, uh, right in this Chapman Wave uh, resistance or propellant zone. Uh, we're going to be see what happens right here. This is a really important moment. And we're looking at the monthly chart. Finally, it closed uh, the month of March. And instead of being nicely above the nine period moving average, it's just barely above the nine. But it was a fabulous move. I mean, we had a, something like a 60% gain from the low. Uh, what is really important at this particular moment is in the selectivity, in the So let me do this because I said that today will be a technical Friday. We want to look at a lot of these things as if the month had closed, which it has, of March. Now we can discuss it. Never discuss a, a, a candle, whether it's a one-minute candle or a daily candle or a weekly candle or a monthly candle, until the moment that the next bar starts because then it's done. It is shut off. It is complete. It is now a fixed picture and what we're looking at is on the right here you've got a fixed picture of a red candle way off the low of 32,272 even now trading just up 25 points giving back a chunk um, it is at the 34,709 level and uh, let's go on and we'll talk about the monthly candles in the different indices look at the S&P when it was up at the uh, high of 4620s just uh, four days ago, it looked fantastic. That was just a magnificent green candle. How, <laughs> however, you had to wait for that candle to complete. Well, it completed and it looks really good. Any other time, I'd say this is a really good candle right here. Let me expand that so we're looking at the right thing. There it is. See, that's a nice candle. We've begun the, the, the new month of April. If at any point in April, there is a push above 46.2763. Let me just double check. 46.3730. Oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. What, 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 what? Let me just check that out. Oh, you've got to go for the whole month of March. 46.3730. If there is a, a 46.37.31 print, that's 100 points from you. It's, it's, it's a long way to go. But if there is, that extends March's candle. And that's really positive because now you can start to say perhaps there's a, a cup formation in the monthly chart. We've got the start of a cup formation in the weekly chart. Look, there it is. The technicals have improved, but that nine period moving average has not crossed over the 14. Sorry. Yes, the nine period pink moving average has not crossed over the 14. So I have to call this a gray the leg B in the Chapman wave methodology. I'll be discussing all these things in my webinar coming up. And if that nine period moving average manages to cross positive in the MACD, 
the nine period differential it's actually called above the slower 26 period exponential moving average that'll be a really big positive why because once it crosses positive it gives you some strength to the upside i don't like when it deflects very quickly it did that back at that peak f top right there in the weekly chart in the week of the 26th of November it pulled back made a v-shaped pattern and then screamed up to 48 18.60 to the all-time high back around the 4th of January and it was a peak F in the daily peak G in the weekly chart and here we are so price wise this is so far a really good candle now the week is young um, there's the open and close right yes so the week is young it's a little skinny week long week there but the stochastic is only at 42 percent because remember the weekly chart takes a long time to repair when the daily chart is pulled back quite sharply the monthly chart actually can sometimes look even better so you can get the daily and the monthly looking really good and that weekly chart just takes its time by the time it finally turns positive maybe it's almost time for a bit of a, a digestive phase so let's make it real clear a close in April, a close that is, below 44.90. Let's call it 44.82. A close below 44.82 says, you know what? That means you might be testing the 9 and 14 period moving average at 44.56, and that'll be really uh, poor action in the weekly chart. So far, all we're looking at is you've ran up to the fourth highest peak in the Chapman Wave methodology, peak D going sideways in the MACD the histogram is starting to deteriorate a little bit but it's still strong nine period moving average is way above the 14 to actually see this turn down to go to a sell signal and then a sell mode probably 44 41 would have to be hit and pretty quickly otherwise it could degrade over a period of weeks or maybe seven to nine sessions slowly and deteriorate and you'll see the green come down to the nine period uh, sorry the nine green period grind, nine period moving average which is green pull back under the 14 period moving average which says 44.95 support and then the 50 period moving average is around about uh, 44.61 and the 200 period moving average is 44.02 so what do i what, where, where do i stand for subscribers to my opening call we're looking at, let's just do the QQQ right now, it's down 53 cents at 362.05, um, holding the nine period moving average. I, I still call this a peak B. There should still be a leg C and a leg D. The MACD is strong, the stochastics at 90%, on balance volume is my clue. That's why I said be a little careful yesterday, a day before yesterday and yesterday because of those peak Ds in the Dow, the S&P, and we'll see in the IWM, the Russell 2000. But actually what we are looking at is, um, the Q, I know it's hard to believe, but technically based on the Chapman methodology, we're looking at just three candles, hasn't taken out the two huge candles from the 200 period moving average of Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, of Monday. Monday, uh, the, so the 25th, we make a low of 354.9. The next day, you're right on the 200 period moving average, and these two big up spike days to uh, Tuesday, we, we haven't even filled those yet. We just pulled back. I have to tell you something. I did a lot of work. I didn't like it. I was uh, on the road yesterday as we were uh, to, to my cell phone, the market suddenly tanked. And I thought, are they going to accelerate down? You know, selling begets selling. I'll be back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, so the small caps made a peak D right at the 200 feet moving average. You see this daily chart, and we've been in a rectangle formation. We're slightly out of it. We kind of come back into it in the daily chart, the weekly chart. I don't want to go through that again. We're talking about this a, a rectangle, a narrow rectangle formation can last as a sideways move a lot longer than your patience. Eventually, if it's at the higher end of a range, it'll break to the upside, then come back into the, the rectangle probably test the lower low of the boundary and if it takes that out it could go right back down and then try to retest just to say goodbye to its friends because it, it dropped so quickly from the rectangle formation and then you got to watch it closely and that's exactly what's happened to the small caps so they're holding okay they've had a real nice move from 187 low to the 211s uh, trading at two or six, just a digestive phase at this particular point. We're also looking at, uh, so that's IWM, a close below 202 would be a warning to say, uh oh, be careful, more selling is coming on. I'm going to show you the um, XLK. Uh, XLK, I heard uh, Tommy earlier this morning talking about the XLK. I, I, I kind of missed what he said, but I think he was talking about, uh, it's just, folks, it's a great show. It starts, kicks us off at 9 o'clock right here at TFNN, and we keep going until Tommy O'Brien Sr. wraps us up at 3 o'clock to 4. And let me just finish this up here. I've got a low, a low there. Uh, lowercase f, peak A right there, A, B. And this is a C in the XLK. So this is really going to be very important because the big move down from the 175s to the 141-ish area, and they're running back all the way to 160, uh, 163, 164, somewhere around that range. Um, this is a good move in the daily chart, but the weekly chart says, ooh, the close today is going to be important because if we held towards the high of the bar, towards the 163 area instead of at 158 right now, that would say, hey, this is a nice leg, eight to the upside, uh, gone to a C down. There are C in the uh, weekly chart. But what's really important about this is that that monthly chart, because of the monthly close yesterday, it's still above the 14 period moving average. So I'm going to remain with a plus sign over the D. I always put a plus sign. This is the S&P Select Tech Spider Fund. Most important is that we're looking at, yeah, there we go, move to the side. We're looking at a digestive phase. 
and the monthly chart uh, is going to make it really important for not just a higher high above March of 163.65. It really needs to test. It doesn't have to close, but it has to test the 167s to say, aha, that monthly chart is starting to improve. The Dow is now down 15. The S&P is down 1. And we're looking at the, and the QQQ is down uh, 1.7. So we're looking at a chance now. And this is, this is not what, uh, yesterday the final hour was not what I wanted to see. But normally when you get an hour like that, the last hour, if it's on the upside, I usually say expect to get a 20 to 30% decline of the last hour. And then you can go back to the upside. Uh, in this case, there should have been a 20 to 30% rally. We did have a high chapter with trend gauge yesterday. And if you're looking at the ES, I'll just go for the co continuous contract right now. We did have more than a 9 to 11 point rally. And now we are down uh, 9 at 45.21. Right on the 200, on the nine period exponential moving average. <laughs> this is going to be very important to watch. I, I, I don't like this. Now, I do respect a lot of people have been talking about the last couple of days that there that we made a, some kind of a short term top and it could increase and become more an intermediate term top i'm not absolutely not disagreeing because i think selectivity here for instance the positions we have in the chapman wave uh, in the in the market letter the opening call in that traders corner section where i put all the positions we have what we're looking at what we might buy what we have bought etc um they they've done very nicely so uh, all I can say is that selectivity is going to be absolutely imperative at this particular point. Uh, we did get a one one position. We waited and waited to get it yesterday. It had it looked like we missed it, and there was that huge drop into the close. We did get it this morning. It did have a pretty nice bounce, but I think it's giving it up, and I wouldn't be surprised if that position is taken out. We had a very a tight stop. Uh, what can I say? You, you know, you just do your best. That's all you can do. Um, now, the other thing that we're looking at here is the TLT. This is, to me, really important. Within the context of the arch formation in the monthly chart, there's a pattern I always talk about. It's called the lowercase h pattern. And this lowercase h pattern uh, has a straight line down and then a rally. And then that rally stalls at either a peak A or a peak B, fails and takes out the left side low and becomes a minus, so it's an A or a B minus, it's called the dreaded H, because if you take out that left side low, it can go a lot lower. Well, lo and behold, look what happened. We had the monthly chart of the iShares 20-year Treasury bond ETF, the TLT, made a high in March of 2020 at 179.70. That's when the market made its low. It's actually where we went long the day of the low. Um, the iShares 20-year Treasury bond fund plummets down and goes quickly to the, about the 153 area, rallies up, makes a peak A, and then it fails and it becomes an A minus. Then the lowercase a, a, because we're talking about troughs on the downside, plummets to 133.19, straight line move down, and then it makes the arch formation. And what does it do? This is the pattern. Let me show you. Let me put it right here. You see that pattern? And now look at this. There it is. There's the arch formation. Took out the left side low in March of this year. I went down to the 127.65 level about five six sessions ago, trying to rally. And look what's happened. The MACD is weak. This is the monthly chart. Stochastic is at 27%. Look at the flat on balance volume way down. Uh, very, it's uh, now uh, the only uh, only index that I ever talk about is oversold or overbought is the on balance volume. And this is becoming a little bit oversold. But look, the nine period has been underneath the 14 period since it broke down uh, back in March of 2021. Uh, rallies up, fails, and it's still pink. So when you talk about higher rates, what we are talking about is in the TNX, the tenure where most of the uh, activity is, because that's where uh, the automobile loans and all that. Uh, that, that that's where loans are derived from the tenure mostly. Uh, look at this. You went to a peak E. I drew the rectangle to say we could have a digestive phase. We're in that digestive phase. That is the tenure TNX. And look at this in the weekly chart. Let me see if I can just pull this back a little bit. Yeah. Look at this. Uh, you're looking at the tenure 
in a GCSC, so we could have a lower uh, weekly candle, and then pop just a little bit higher next week for leg D. The MACD is good. Stochastics at six, at 88%. That's really good. Nine is way above the 14. And look at this. If I pull, drag this chart right across like that, what do you see? Well, what do I see? I see a huge bull formation. If anybody remembers back in 2020, I think it was, the XAU, the gold and silver index was in the 44-ish area and gold was making this incredible bull long term years and years in the making of a bull formation before it broke to the outside i'm just wondering are you going to scream up that left side high i'll do some work on this team break it before Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So we're looking at the 10-year. The monthly suggests that the rectangle formation can take you to the 27s. We're at 24 right now, 2.4, that is. Uh, 2.7 would be a target for a leg D potential in the TNX. A uh, really good support in the 22 area, 2.2. But if you look at this monthly chart, the weekly chart, there's this beautiful cup formation, the ball formation. It's actually uh, two months ahead of the uh, 
the target that I would use using the left side, right side price time match. Uh, there is a Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, but you can be a little bit late. So far, the price is moving towards that direction. So that's kind of what I'd be looking at. And that's that's kind of important in the sense that anything related to the bonds, and now the Dow's down 67, the S&P's down two, uh, anything related uh, to yields, is going to be impacted, and I showed you this yesterday. I'll just do it again right now. You're looking at the uh, where we go, we're going to go, we go to the HGX, which is the uh, housing Philadelphia housing index. Made that double top. Just incredible how many times we've had the the V shape or the cup shape formation over either days, weeks, or even years. Um, test exactly in the dreaded H pattern, but this is the upside. This is the reverse Y. Um, and it goes to the left side. Hi, look at this. The HGX index, the Philadelphia Housing Index, in May of 2021, goes to 538.36. Drops sharp to 436 back in about October of 2021. Where does it rally to? It goes Great Peak A, Great Peak B, and then a Peak C. And the, look at this, how important the, the, mag, sorry, the stochastic is, over 80% goes over 80% and then quickly fails and then at a peak C minus, a tad under the previous high at 531.14. We're looking at 538.16. It goes to 530, was that 31? Uh, yeah, 531. It double tops. And look, the technicals all week. I even drew this when I was discussing this on air. Look at the vertical lines. It shows you how technicals were so poor. And what have we done? We've come down and we're making this dreaded H in the weekly chart. So that just says, be careful because in the home builders, you would anticipate in a market like this, obviously you'd have some weakness in the home in the in the whole area of home builders. But here's something that's quite fascinating. Look, um, we're only at a peak B in the uh, monthly chart, are we going to really get to a C and a D? That, you know, that, those are the big questions here in the Chapman Bay methodology. And the, the webinar I have is, are we looking at new index highs in 2022 based on Chapman Bay methodology? And the indexes are so far saying, well, we're going to have to rely on the S&P, which did a peak B and is still holding pretty well as it stands right now. This is, uh, you could expect after such a huge move from 21.91 to 48.18 in the monthly chart of the S&P going to a peak B that any pullback would be more than a quarter, 25%, um, right? This is still only like 12% and now we've rallied. So it's still only about six or so percent from the high. Maybe we're looking at time and price. Maybe we're looking at time. Maybe what we're looking at is the selectivity. As soon as the market figures things out, you know, it did the same thing with the uh, Russia-Ukraine war. Uh, we're looking at, um, at a certain point, the market just gets bored with we're looking at the same thing, starts to look at something else. If you look at, and I say something else, look at the IYT. This is the uh, transportation index, made a peak E. Very sharp pullback, all-time high, double top, triple top, quadruple top, almost 287.40 in May. Uh, pulls back uh, to the 240s, rallies to 281, just underneath the previous high. Pulls back to the 255 area, rallies back to the 280 level, and then pulls back deeper and screams up to the last high of 276. Uh, 276.87 on the 29th of March. Big, sharp move in downside today, down 6, down 2.3%. I, I don't want to fight the transportation index, but if you look at the monthly chart, wow, this made a, a U-shaped pattern, then a second U-shaped pattern. It's got like a triple top and um, at a peak B. <laughs> so all I can say is that the market has defied gravity for this long. Can it do that a little longer? We'll see. This is... Um, this coming week, this was a really important, one of the, probably one of the most important weeks in a long time. The follow through week next week is going to be even more important in the sense that it says, wait a minute, is there residual strength or was that weakness that is starting to increase? Uh, that's what we're looking at, all right? So the IYT, look at Jets. Is there going to be a comeback? Uh, a market and socializing uh, return to normal 
Well, stuck at the 200 period exponential. This is how important these 200 period moving averages are. <clears throat> Look at that daily chart. Stuck there for four sessions, gapped up, and now it's like glue. It's like a, like a magnet. Boom, at 2176. So if JETS, which is the airlines, US Global JETS ETF, if it's able next week, if it doesn't crack 2120, it's at 2176. 2120 to 2090 moving averages support level, but it stays can break to the upside from the 200 period moving average and get to, I would say it's not good enough to get to 22, it has to get to about 2230. I think there will be good action. We'll be following that closely. A couple of things that, a oh, question that came in. Yes, I was going to do that. So I've done monthly charts and what I've said is, let me just finish this up because I see technical Friday, we will do that. S&P for me is the benchmark that I'm looking at here. If the S&P at any point closes under the 14 period exponential moving average any on a weekly basis under the monthly 43.32, that's um, 200 points down from here, 2000 down points. If it closes it any week in April, it says, I don't know what you're thinking about. We, uh, rates are going high. It's affecting the market. Crude oil is having an impact. Um, just inflation in general. The market is going to consolidate and correct. That's all. Make it as simple as possible. But within that, there's no reason why you can't be looking at certain stocks in certain areas. Uh, we've kind of done that. and we, we Yesterday, we had a pretty good day considering that the market was down so sharply. And that's the best thing that you can do, just to try to identify what's under the radar. And I still say having a, 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 a some cash ready for any exogenous, exogenous situation where you can get something that you've been looking at for ages and now it's started to come into your price range, you can start a position, get cash ready. All right, so here we go. Apple, um, Apple, Huge leg A to the upside, 150 to 179, now trading at 173. MACD strong, stochastics 91%, on balance volume did pull back. Uh, relative strength, a little green line here, very good. Nine, way above the 14. It looks good, and it's near the, near the all-time high. Oh, I forgot to type that in on the, on the weekly chart, but I have it here. 124.94 was the peak E high in the uh, at the two bar reversal was that correct 182.88 182.94 on the 4th of uh, on the 1st of, of uh, January that's exactly the opposite of today instead of 4.1 this is 1.4 and we made a two bar reversal at 182.94 slumps to 154 down 30 points and then streaks back up and then fails at 175 and tumbles down to 150 and then it has another move up. And that's what I'm saying, that in certain areas, some stocks still have spread. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So, a, couple of, a lot of questions actually came up with, uh, with Apple, uh, in both in the uh, Tiger YouTube and the Tiger's Den and emails. So, let me just do this A, B, C, I believe that's, I'm doing it a little quickly. Yeah, so it made a peak D in the 120 minute chart. The nine hasn't crossed under the 14, but it's real close. So on a digestive phase, Apple, um, the question was, is this a Chapman Wave Eiffel Tower? Straight up and the straight down at a peak A minus. I think that the Apple still has some internal strength. Just technically it has on the daily. The week, the 120 minute chart says, no, 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 we got to be careful because the one uh, 50 period exponential moving average at 171.28 could be tested and it's made the arch formation and that takes you to the left side below of 172 round number low that was at 11.30 on the 28th. So watching this closely, it is a peak D so you can expect some digestive action. MACD's weak stochastic said 42% on balance volumes turned down and that says that you can anticipate a little bit more weakness and um, that corresponds to the selling that's going on in the general market right now. But you can see that the technicals on Apple says that it's going to have to, to really see Apple do the Eiffel Tower by Tuesday or Wednesday, it needs to be under 169, uh, 168, 168. And that that nine period will start to get really close to crossing negative, probably say 167. I, I, it could happen. I'm just saying that that's what I would anticipate to, for it to really go negative right now. I just call it a digestive phase. That's just the way I'm looking at it. Another question came in. So could I look at Baba? Yep, Baba is uh, Alibaba. Made a peak D at 319.32 in the monthly chart. It's made a peak C and holding quite nicely in the daily chart. MACD's good stochastics at 81%. On balance ROM is not good. Relative strength is holding well. Nine is above the 14. The weekly chart just looks terrible. It has constantly. Look at the way the on balance volume screamed to the upside without the price movement. So I think that this is still within a big digestive phase. Alibaba trading at 115.56, up 6.76 today, up 6%. Um, it did hold the 14 and 9 period moving average. All I can say in this particular pattern, it could become very favorable if two things happen. So I think this is the question here for some people who are looking now at the Chinese the sector there. If, if Alibaba on Monday or Tuesday, without going under 112, is able to not just cross above the high of the 30th of March of 120.10, but it actually get to 120.70, it should make a leg D and that would be above the 124, I don't know, that's a, that's a long thing, to, a long way to go, but above the 124 high of the 23rd of March. Uh, that's the way I'm looking at it right now. But at this point, I'm just calling it a digestive phase. Uh, what was that other one? Queb? I had a question yesterday. I didn't have a chance to get to it. 
Crab is what? Crab is the um, uh, Crane Shares CSI China. China what? China something. I think it's bank. Uh, China. INET? Is that internet? I don't know, ETF. Anyway, it's an ETF. It made a high. It went to a sideways congestion pattern. It's been up in the 105 area back uh, in the monthly chart. And that was way back. And I'll tell you exactly what it was. It was an inverted doji candle. So on the, in February of 2021, it hit 104.94. It slumped down, gapped down to this low of 20.41. I would call that a decline. Then it had an item reversal and it made a, a, a peak C. See this chap wave inside track and this uh, falling axe formation. Well, look how many times it's been repelled in this chap wave inside track repellent zone. To make it a propellant zone at 30.64 up 2.12 right now, it needs not just to, cl to close or bounce, it needs to hold above. Uh, the 3283 peak C on the 23rd of March. It has to hold two out of three sessions so that it can turn the whole 30 and a half area into key support. That's the way it's looking like right now. If it closes, at any, no, it just has to go down to 2770. So 2030.73 30 points lower, 10% lower, and that becomes the, the the dreaded H formation in the daily chart. So uh, a lot of other questions came in. So let me just sum up. As I see it right now, I still see internal strength based on daily charts. In some areas, the weekly charts have actually confirmed that strength. In many stocks, the weekly charts are still very weak. But the monthly charts are starting to see some kind of improvement. If you're looking at, what was the other one? I was looking at peak Ds, how many peak Ds we've had. Uh, let's just go to square. I don't know where that is right now. Square. Yep, there's your peak D. I drew in the left side, right side price time match. We didn't actually get this because we got we had to try to get another position within the, the context of this area. There's your peak D, 149 round number high after going to 82.72. This was once a stock trading 200 points higher at 289 back in August of 2021. Block Inc., formerly Square point of sale software, managing receipts, goes to peak D, a one-to-one move. No, it hasn't quite, no, it didn't go there. The high that I was looking for on the 12th of January was 152.70, and it went to 149 round number high. 152.70, and I'd given that until, let me correct you on that. This is using the left side cup formation. This is the, um, this is the, ellipse on the left side from 152 coming down to 82.72 that number of bars should equal the same number of bars on the right trying to get to 152.70 and that should take you until you've got until uh, April the 6th April the 6th is when it is on Wednesday well let's see if that can happen it's holding quite nicely now it's up to 16 so we'll see what happens there uh, a couple of questions came in. Um, could I look at LIT? Uh, LIT is the, is this the X, Global X? Yeah, Global X Lithium and Battery Tech Fund uh, trading right now. And let me just correct that. Trading right now at Control R. There it is. At 78.38, up $1.40. It's gone to that leg B. It's acting really well. Uh, it's come from a peak C high in the monthly chart of 97.13 back in November of 2021. It goes to this most recent low of 64. Point, was that 80? 60, 65.61. Um, it ran up to the 200 period. Look how many times. Look how important. You just have to put these in. You don't have to use them until you need them. Look how important the resistance and support level of this orange 200 period moving averages in the daily. It was repelled, repelled, repelled pulls back sharply to the 65 level from the 77s, runs back up peak A, pulls back for two bars, leg B over 200 period moving average, uh, peak B because it's a lower high under the 200 period moving average and today it's above that. This is LIT, L -I -T, trading at 78.45, 
up a dollar forty seven. And that's what I mean. We're trying to get into areas in the commodity areas. We still got some really nice trades within the commodity areas. And that's kind of important because look how nicely it's held. Um, so lith lithium a batch and battery tech fund. This is like an ETF for that particular group. Holding Gary, very nice. I'll back a uh, question. Uh, same question. I'll be back in a moment. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So the question is, uh, I'm just doing this as the one-minute e-mini chart. And also, I decided I would keep in, although I thought it looks a little messy, some of the FIB numbers. They're using FIB numbers perfectly today. They did that yesterday as well. Um, I, so let me just go through. A couple of questions came up. I'm going to do this real quickly. The IAI, which is the iShares Broken Dealer ETF, which we've been long uh, since uh, the day after the law of March 2020, um, 2020. Yeah, um, what we're looking at is uh, within the context of it rallying at 100 to 116.25, pulling back. It's making this 200 period moving average arch formation. And the question is, can you talk about the brokerage area and why you've always said that this is a benchmark for you to look at in the general market? I'll do that because what I, I've, I've just done now. I skip the last segment. Okay, what I what I I want you to do. I I'm able. I, I just got a message, Larry. I believe I'm not sure, but I don't think Larry's able to do his show. The next show, 
and I had a whole bunch of questions and I have my webinar coming up a week from tomorrow so I want to discuss things that I'll be doing there. I want you to go through a number of the commodities. They're really important at this particular point. So I'll do some. I can't stay for the last segment of Larry's show. I have to go somewhere to go. I've got a meeting I have to get to. So as it stands right now, my, my stance is that we are still bullish. We got that low from just under 33,000 in the Dow Diamonds. We are long. We've added to our very long-term long position. We've got a nice trading position. Taking a little bit off as it got to that peak D, a leg D. That's what we always do. Did not have any short position. They usually at that point I started looking at the inverse. I see strength. I might be totally out of my mind, but I see enough strength at least to keep us buoyant for a little bit so we can make some decisions. That's the way I'm looking at it right now. Selectivity is the, is the watchword. I'm going to wrap it up now. I'll do the news, and I'll be doing uh, at least the, uh, a good part of the hour of Larry's show. Remember, I can't do trade what you see. That's Larry's show, but I can use up that time. I can discuss. When Larry looks at my charts and I look at his, we often see the same thing. Using now both uh, different techniques, so we'll try to put that up.